Creating the Personality in You Since a great part of the success of a home business is pegged on proper communication and, of course, presentation of itself, it's very important to work on your personality if you wish to succeed here. Think about it. Your home business concept might be great, but if you don't have the proper style to present it to a prospective client, it's very likely to be rejected. In a similar fashion, if you don't have the right kind of personality needed for this game, you're not going to be a good role model for your downline and will cause everyone to suffer. It's extremely essential that you pay great attention to your personality. In fact, you have to mold your entire lifestyle so that it is beneficial to your business. Here are some ideas that you can use. Number one, your conversation. Conversation skills are of the greatest importance here. You've got to learn to be a persistent talker so that you get your point across. But you must never ever cut into what the other person is saying. You need to be more of a talker than a listener when you are in business. But you must not downplay the other person. There's a fine line that must not be crossed here. At the same time, you must refrain from using platitudes in your conversation. Speak factually and only of things that you know. Don't unduly praise the prospect. That is considered bad in your prospecting because you risk putting the person off. Number two, your attire. You have to learn how to dress smart, but not over the top. It's really all right if you wear anything, but neither should be it too imposing, nor should it be too downgrading. Smart casual wear is always great, so you can stock up on the shirts and trousers. The ties must be sparingly used, depending on the place and situation where you're meeting the client. Never dress to impress, and never dress with a conscious mind to show down the prospect. Number three, your attitude. You've got to appear to be very helpful, understanding, and cooperative in your first meeting itself. The prospect has got to know that you will be there to guide them all the way through. This attitude also keeps your existing downline happy because they know that they will get good guidance from you. Number four, your taste. It's important to have refined taste. If you have to meet with a prospect, take them to a good restaurant and order something civilized. Such impressions are very important later on. Number five, your information. Be a man or woman of the world. Read your newspapers daily. Keep updated about everything. This helps you be a good conversationalist at parties and meetings, and this can be a great source of getting some targeted prospects.